If you've ever been in a situation of wanting a new SIM rig, but you don't have the space or your spouse doesn't allow it because it's too big and ugly, you might as well just get some furniture from Ikea. This is where the coffee eraser comes to solve a problem real SIM racers have, the lack of space. Disclaimer here, the coffee eraser was sent by the company and I have an affiliate link with Race Anywhere. All opinions are my own, they have no control in this. There are two versions, there's the plate, this one we have here, and then there's also the living, which is to put trees and shrubs on top of it. Let's talk about prices. The play is 499 pounds or 599 euros, and if you use it on your desk and you want to attach a chair to it, there is an adapter that will cost 100 euros extra. Well, that's basically full sim rig type of money. Heck, you can get a P1X by that price and you also can get the GT Omega Prime with a seat. I'm not gonna try to convince you that this is as stiff or stiffer than one of those rigs because let's be clear, it is not. This is built with one thing in mind and it's basically space. Trying to use your space as effectively as possible and still provide a very decent racing experience and one that is actually usable. So what's inside the magical box? Well, it's a box, it's made of metal. Inside there's a pedal tray and of course the wheel uprights. Everything runs on rails of sorts for adjustments. The inside structure is made with thick metal. And then outside, of course, there's the outside case which will have the color. In this case, it's pristine white. On the bottom of the coffee racer, there will be four holes for either feet or locking casters. This is useful to move around from and into a stored position because the coffee racer is heavy. The pedal tray has adjustments forwards and backwards as well as tilt. The wheel upright goes up and down with the tray itself moving forwards and backwards. In terms of compatibility, the pedal tray should be compatible with most pedals available and it's capable of taking heavy load cells. The wheel plate has compatibility for most brands as well. Though for the Logitech Pro pedals, only one row of bolts can be used. For the Pro wheel, it's not compatible with the front bolt hole, so the clamp needs to be used. This is something that is happening in lots of rigs, including my Simatic and GT Omega Prime. And speaking of that, this coffee table can take a direct drive 20 Newton meters with no problem whatsoever. The bolts used for the wheelbase are flush top, so the wheel plate can be adjusted forwards and backwards. The adjustments are controlled and secured with these clamps and bolts. Everything gets into place, though it must be redone every time you go in and out of the rig, so this can be quite annoying with this bolt type. The installation is not lengthy, but at the same time it's not straightforward as wheel stands. It should take around 2 minutes at most. Inside there is a small box for cables or power supplies, not all power supplies will fit, something like this from the Logitech Pro will be too big. The 100 euro adapter is a structure that is mounted in your desk chair. Coffee Racer talked to Noble Chairs to send a chair for me as they're working together, though it should be compatible with most, if not all, office chairs. The installation is easy, but the manual at this time needs improvements. There are some adjustments available, the wheel that can move forwards or backwards, in this case it needs to be going a little bit forward. There's two knobs at the top and two knobs at the bottom. This wheel deck will be compatible with most brands out there, including Logitech, Trustmaster, Fanatec, Motsa, and even Simic. The wheel deck upright will go up or down. In the case of the sofa, in my case, it needs to go as low as possible, which is this position. In the case of sitting on a chair, it needs to go far, far higher. In terms of ergonomics, this is actually okay. It will be more or less the same as a wheel stand, maybe a little bit better. In a sofa for me, the ergonomics are slightly better than on a chair because you kind of feel like you're more sitting in the correct position for this type of stuff. For the chair, you sit a little bit higher, but you're still very, very much comfortable. It's really easy to get everything in position. Just pull the chair up, align the claw with the coffee race, sit down and drop the claw. As long as the coffee racer casters are engaged, it won't move front or backwards. The mount allows the chair to be totally stactic. The chair won't rotate at all. To secure the wheel uprights, there are a couple of clamps, one at each side for the back and one at the front. For the paddles, exactly the same thing, one at the front and one at the back for each side. What I would recommend you to do is basically just leave it sliding and then get it inside your rig tighten it up and then leave it there. This, for example, this uh, pedal set is way, way too big. And when I need to store this, I need to move it to the front and only I then I can drop uh, the wheel upright into position. 
The biggest con is actually getting into this. It's not the easiest thing to, to get in, either on the seat or in the sofa. The entrance is very small, but once you get in, you are actually really comfortable and you have adjustments to make it taller or shorter. The sturdiness is compatible for something this small. While not full sim rig like, I have seated in some rigs with far more movement in this. The fact it can be used this rigidly with the direct drive and load cell means that this isn't really a toil or an half-assed solution. It is meant to be used with top shelf equipment and I've done a test getting the DD1 to 20 Nm and it took it like the champ. The pedal tray has very little movement, if at all, while the desk tray is really sturdy. It's an extremely impressive piece of kit. The coffee racer won't move with casters engaged, but there is some expected small up and down movement from the chair structure, but it's still as solid as it can go. It's also very usable on a sofa as well, as long of course there are some pillows or cushions to get you in the right position. There are honestly better choices, more rigid choices, and oftentimes cheaper than this. This is made for a very specific group of people with a specific problems, namely space, or basically they don't want an eyesore in the living room or on their room, they want something that can be usable for multiple purposes. The coffee racer ends up being a solution for this very common problem and does it in a very impressive way. It is super solid. It is able to take basically a direct drive at full power with no problem whatsoever, but I wouldn't recommend it. If somebody told me that a small box like this could be a rigid, practical sim racing rig, I would be telling them they are crazy and of course I would be very skeptical, um, like I was skeptical in Sim Racing Expo when I tried this out, but you know, after trying it out, it really opens your mind that there are, is a world outside of full sim racing rigs that are an eyesore. I like it, but it does come at a very high cost for most people and the living isn't that much better. I hope one day there will be a cheaper version, about half the price, and then, well, that would basically go over everything else that is a wheel stand.